California, USA, where the brave must fight to be free in today's Vinegar Syndrome pick, Fortress of America. Written and directed by Eric Luzil, and produced by the infamous Troma Entertainment. I'm your host Zach, and welcome to another episode of Pajama Theater. Today, we'll be looking at Vinegar Syndrome's newest VSA release, brought to us on Blu-ray, newly scanned and restored. We've got a great looking physical copy for a questionably trashy film. Before we get to unboxing our release, let's talk a bit about the movie itself. Fortress of America, spelled with three Ks in the title, takes place in Chroma City, California, following the shenanigans of American Indian John Whitecloud, as well as the oppressing forces that seek to put him down. Our film opens with a full-on exposition dump from a narrator who tells us everything we need to know going into this absolutely over-the-top story. The locals live under the ruthless rule of what is regarded as the corrupt local political machine, all while facing the outward threat of the ruthless corporate syndicate from the east. The political machine is run by the power-hungry sheriff's department and their incredibly racist chief, while the corporate syndicate, also known as the Fortress of America, is led by a sweaty military stereotype running around in the wilderness, decked out in camouflage and armed to the teeth. The police and locals discriminate heavily, and the military soldiers don't discriminate enough, instead opting to kill anything that moves. Caught up in all this mayhem is John Whitecloud, who was arrested years ago and has now been released. While in prison, his brother was shot and killed by the head sheriff, who now sets his eyes on Whitecloud himself. So from here on out, the film is a 100 minute slog, as we jump constantly between John's story of revenge and the various scenes involving the Fortress of America and their shenanigans. We get rowdy party scenes, violent war games, and straight up criminal acts with the Fortress of America, and all sorts of inane drama, racism, and corruption from the police-headed political machine back in town, making for one hell of a film to say the least. Overall, the film is a grungy journey of action and exploitation. It has trashy sex, trashy violence, trashy dialogue, and an entirely bonkers story. But if you're into this sort of stuff, then it won't disappoint. I can't say it's anything I'll be eager to rewatch on my own time, but I suppose a few beers and a group of friends can make it its own experience. Regardless, let me know what you think of the film down in the comments. Until then, we've got a physical copy to unbox, so let's head on over and see what's included in this release. Here we are with Vinegar Syndrome's release of Fortress of America. As part of their VSA lineup, it of course comes in a bottom-loading slipcase. It's made of a nice material, and sports new artwork on one side, and original poster work on the other. If we remove the case, we'll find the same artwork on the sleeve, as well as all the release information on the back. Opening it up, we have a single Blu-ray disc on the right, and a fold-out poster on the left. As usual with VSA releases, the poster is a decent size, sporting the new and old artwork options. Always a nice inclusion when it comes to this sublabel. If we jump back over to our case, we'll note that the sleeve is of course reversible as well. With that however, we fully unboxed our release, so let's head on over and check out what all is included on the disc. Vinegar Syndrome presents Fortress of America, newly scanned and restored in 2K from the original 35mm camera negative. Alongside the film itself, we do get a handful of video supplements to watch, a trio of interviews featuring various cast and crew. The first interview is titled Back to the Woods, and is with writer and director Eric Luziel, running just over 17 minutes long. Luziel talks everything Fortress of America, from its initial startup to shooting the production itself. I'm not terribly interested in the behind the scenes of the film, but it is crazy to hear him talk about the various challenges they faced. For example, one of the stories he shares is about having to fire the original lead actor after they were planning to injure themselves to collect on the production's insurance money. Overall, an entertaining enough interview with Luzil's collection of crazy stories. Moving now to the second interview, we have Chant With Me, featuring actor Troy Froman, who plays the Fortress of America soldier, Bazooka. Running just under 10 minutes long, Froman's interview sees him discussing how he joined the production, about various experiences from on set, and sharing his general thoughts on the movie as a whole. With that, we can round out the release with one final video interview titled Big Dreams, running just under 7 minutes long, and featuring actor Brad Roth, who plays one of the young, unnamed mercenaries in the movie. Roth talks about how Fortress of America was his first foray into the film industry, sparking a lifelong love for the subject. He otherwise shares his experiences from the production, 
closing out our collection of interviews with a good couple of stories. Overall, this has been another solid entry into the VSA lineup. Even if the film wasn't to my particular taste, I still enjoyed the insane adventure of the watch, and Vinegar Syndrome has brought us another great release overall. Share your thoughts down in the comments, and until then, thanks again for joining me here on Pajama Theater. Remember to like this video and subscribe to support the channel. And as always, thanks again, take care, and I'll see you next time.